Welcome to the first in a series of five short videos for principals and members of the school executive who wish to learn about the QuickSmart program. My name is John Pegg and I co-developed the QuickSmart program with my friend and colleague Lorraine Graham. QuickSmart is offered by staff at the Simmon National Research Centre at the University of New England. Since 2001, principals in over 1,200 schools across Australia have enrolled their school in the QuickSmart program. This first session provides a brief introduction to the program and in the four remaining videos, these ideas are extended. QuickSmart offers principals and school executives an evidence-based approach to address the most pressing, almost intractable problem for most primary and secondary schools in Australia. The issue concerns offering low achieving students from say years four to nine, a genuine second chance to improve their basic skills in numeracy or literacy as a foundation for overall improved learning outcomes and higher order functioning. QuickSmart is an intervention program that draws on advances in educational neuroscience and brain and cognition research, as well as evidence gathered across Australia with QuickSmart for the last 15 years. As well as being used in schools, QuickSmart has recorded successes with adults at risk learners in workplace situations and post-school education settings. Of particular significance is our work in prisons and juvenile detention centres, where an important focus of QuickSmart is to help reduce recidivism rates through education. Our work with at risk learners over the years means many tens of thousands of school learners and many hundreds of adults have had demonstrable improvements in their learning achievement. This has resulted in new skills being acquired that has delivered impacts on their lives, both in formal and informal learning situations. There are two distinct programs in QuickSmart. One is numeracy, QuickSmart numeracy, which involves basic maths and problem solving. And the other, QuickSmart literacy, deals with reading, vocabulary, and of course, comprehension. In these video sessions, I'm focusing on QuickSmart in schools. In schools, QuickSmart is an appropriate program for most students, but our main focus is on those students who occupy the bottom 30% of the achievement spectrum. In your school, the number of these students might be small or the numbers might be quite large. In QuickSmart, students work in pairs with a QuickSmart instructor for 30 minutes, three times a week, and they need about 30 weeks. The number of students involved in QuickSmart varies across schools, from about 12 students, that would be six pairs, to a situation that is not uncommon in which between 80 and 100 students, that's 40 to 50 pairs of students are being supported at any one time. QuickSmart is built on a practical and student-focused interpretation of learning with strong theoretical underpinnings. Before I go further talking about the program, I want to stress the importance for principals and school executives to understand the critical role they can play in the implementation of QuickSmart. The data show that while you can expect strong effect size growth from your students who attend QuickSmart, those schools with the highest effect size are where there is evidence that the principal and members of the school executive offer strong moral support knowledge of the program and involvement in some form in the running of the program. Hence, I am heartened by the commitment you are showing to helping at-risk learners and underperforming students in your school by allocating your time to watch and learn from this series of QuickSmart videos. There were three issues behind the development of QuickSmart for students who need a second chance to reach a level commensurate with their average achieving peers. Too many Australian Indigenous and non-Indigenous students have shown to be resistant to improvements in learning despite large investments of funds. Sadly, longitudinal national data indicate that low achieving students have not drawn lasting benefits from most current in-class and poorly conceived withdrawal instructional activities. These data place huge pressure on schools, principals and executive members about what to do. You would also be aware of the risks and moral issues for society if you ignore the problem and decide to do nothing. To address this complex issue, schools need something that is cost effective, sustainable over time, has a strong evidence base and delivers large effect sizes. QuickSmart delivers on all these features. 
Principals, schools and education jurisdictions need confidence that any investment they might make in this area would have the greatest chance of delivering the results needed for the students under your responsibility. Also, you would be aware of the legacy left by either inaction or following gimmicky, by that I mean data-free ideas that have not been tested. Teaching assistants. They are an underutilised, poorly supported and seldom recognised resource in school education. Our evidence demonstrates that with appropriate training, teacher assistants are highly motivated and offer a cost-effective, long-term, sustainable way to close the achievement gap for low-achieving students. In remote and rural areas, trained Indigenous teaching assistants, as quick smart instructors, are a resource able to enrich their whole community. About 80% of current quick smart instructors in schools in Australia are teacher assistants. Principals need to take advantage of this resource, offering these people a genuine constructive role to improve and help sustain improved school-wide results. Educational support programs need to be sustainable in the short and long term without large drains on the public or school purse. By sustainability, I mean support programs should be cost efficient, have clear exit criteria, proven longitudinal results, documented ongoing benefits for students and instructors, and have replicable results across all regions of Australia. In terms of being cost effective, CIMA is a not-for-profit national research organisation and it is dedicated to improving the life chances of people through education. By documented benefits, I'm referring to the data collected from every site and provided in reports to schools as well as in summary forms in annual reports available on our website. To summarise some important facts about QuickSmart that I will pick up in later videos in the series, we collect evidence with annual pre and post data collection on computer generated speed and accuracy tests and independent tests. We provide data analysis and written reports at school and national levels. Research studies confirm the effect size growth of many tens of thousands of QuickSmart Indigenous and non-Indigenous students translate into up to three years average growth in one year compared to gains made by average achieving students. Longitudinal research shows that quick smart students maintain their gains and continue to achieve academically years after exiting the program. Success for Indigenous students mirror the same rate of growth as non-Indigenous students. Similar results of success with student learning outcomes occurs in schools across Australia, from those in inner and outer metropolitan areas, provisional, rural and remote areas. Principals report that over a three year period that there has been whole school student improvement in their schools. Principals have also reported that over three years they have noticed improved changes in teaching practice as a result of QuickSmart and the work they do in building on the ideas explicit in the QuickSmart program with all teaching staff. There are highly rated professional learning opportunities for those executive members, teachers and teacher assistants involved in QuickSmart, as well as them receiving professional documented recognition. Indigenous and non-Indigenous teaching assistants attain specialised training to work productively with students. Professional learning provides a practical and student-focused interpretation of learning and theoretical underpinning drawn from advances in the brain and cognition research. QuickSmart involves relevant teaching practices such as the use of formative assessment, deliberate practice, development of understanding, targeted feedback, teacher and peer modelling, guided and independent practice activities and high on task lesson time. QuickSmart provides the lesson format and teaching ideas as well as needed resources, including a computer software resource. There is also an extensive website as well as a five-day telephone and IT support available. I finish this video with a useful quote by Hargraves which reminds us of the need for senior personnel not to delay in provided needing support in education. He said that the students in front of you, especially those who are most at risk, cannot be sacrificed to improvements that will only bear fruit far into the future. Tomorrow is too late for them. 
In the second video session, I talk about two aspects most requested by principals. These are the evidence of the success of QuickSmart that you could expect in your school and the neuroscience and cognition research base that underpins QuickSmart.